Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Nathan from My Crypto Paradise and in this video we will be looking at the Monero. It is quoted XMR and currently it is ranked 18 by the total cryptocurrency market capitalization. We can see that the cap is at 2 billion 4 $187,142,000 and the trend seems to be bearish at least in the most recent days, past seven days especially, but price is starting to recover. What we had is that during the past seven days almost 10% has been lost and during the past 24 hours regained 2.38%. If we look at the coin360, XMR is not taking such a big spot, although still it is a top 20 coin, which worth definitely the attention. So why XMR could be interesting for investors, especially the long term? Well, first of all, it's one of the top privacy coins out there and with everything what is happening in the world it seems that our privacy is vanishing we know that we're being tracked by google by everything we're getting these ads targeted for us so basically these corporations know everything about us and here comes the monero where you might be able to do financial transactions completely private so this could be of interest in that sense of course, there are other privacy coins which are a good competitors, as an example, Zcash. But it seems that Monero is a more widely used coin and it designed to be for regular people. Just compared to Zcash, it just looks like it made for the corporations and the big companies. But Monero is a day-to-day -day use, so could be quite an interesting one in the long run. And guys, I just opened the coin 360 and the one thing I noticed is that ETH Ethereum did take a much larger space. If you haven't noted that, that's amazing. So the capitalization of the Ethereum has grown substantially and this is definitely worth the attention. Now let's move to the price action of the Monero. We will be looking for the Monero against the Bitcoin and Monero against the US dollar. The very first thing is that we are moving below the downtrend trend line, below the 50 and 200 simple moving averages. If we look at the weekly chart, it's the same. Price is trending down. There is no questions about that. However, what I did spot and could be very interesting is that right there when the price confirmed breakout below 50 and 200 moving average we had this pullback up so i have used the fibonacci retracement indicator to apply to this correction and what i've spotted is 527.2 percent fibonacci retracement level at 0.0034 has been rejected cleanly so we can see this bounce which is very important and after which we went up and broke above the previously made high. So this is one of the signs that the trend could be starting to change. Now we had this rejection of the 50 moving average and at the same time we haven't tested the 200 moving average. So what could be the case is price will attempt to test the moving average. But it looks like the most important part is the break above this area. Now if we look at the one hour time frame, this could have been an A, b and c correction so we have completed this correctional phase and now there is a potential opportunity that the price will go up and it certainly seems that way because on the one hour chart we broke about the 50 and 200 moving averages there was this rejection of the moving average and as you can see this support level hasn't been broken price remains just at this spot at 0 0.0041 bitcoin so this could be this beginning of the rise we have now the resistance area which is here and the support area and the price is currently stuck between these two areas at the same time what we had today this is one hour chart is break above the previously made high we also rejected the previously made support and we rejected the moving average this is the clearly a bullish case for the monero against the bitcoin and as long as we hold this slow 
price is likely to continue rising. Now, the nearest resistance obviously is at 0 0.0044 Bitcoin and corresponding to the previous area of resistance, of course. And this is the area where the price is likely to be heading in the next 48 hours. Then, of course, it will be very important whether there will be a break to the upside or not. Because if there will be breakout to the downside, we might be heading towards this support once again, and it will still be a consolidation phase. On the four hour time frame, we also can see that this low, previous low, hasn't been broken. Price failed to close below this previously made low after we had the break above the 50 moving average. So all in all, it seems like price could be heading towards the resistance, then maybe potentially producing a top here, and then maybe even higher to test the 200 simple moving average. So this is one of the areas to be watched as long as this support holds. And if it's not, we're gonna retest most likely this support area. And then if there will be a daily break and close below this low, then maybe a continuation of the downtrend. But for now, it seems like the trend is changing due to the break above the previously made high and ABC correctional wave to the downside. Back to the daily time frame, and the one thing I wanted to show you as well is the volume profile indicator, which has been applied throughout this consolidational phase where the price has been stuck for quite a bit. So there was a lot of volume volatility, but not much of an action. So we can see where the most trading volume has occurred. So we'll just place a line at this level. And going back, this could be our resistance area or an upside target. So what can be expected in the best case scenario, of course, if this will be an uptrend, if this support will hold, then most likely retest of the trend line along with the 50 moving average, which corresponds to 200 moving average on the one hour time frame. And if broken, we are likely to test this moving average. So these are two areas to be watched as long as this support holds, obviously. Now let's have a look at the Monero against the USDT. It's clearly a bullish trend. Higher highs and higher lows are in place. And if we apply a simple trend line, we can spot yet again the rejection right there, the rejection there. And we can mark several levels. As an example, this is first support, important support. Then we also have support at this price. So these are two levels to be watched, which could be tested before uptrend continues. Now the clear thing is that this level, this bottom, when the price attempted to break below this previously made low, is the key, key level. Daily break and close below will push price down. But as long as we stay above the 200 moving average, we might still consolidate and then produce another wave to the upside because the trend line has been rejected. This was the rejection yet again. This is daily time frame. I think the most important time frames which traders watching for confirmations. And we had this support area rejected. And clearly this could result now in either fast move or consolidation and then move to the upside. And to summarize, as long as this low will hold, the price will remain bullish. Although still the correction can be expected. There could be even the spike below this price because we are watching the daily time frame. We need to have a daily close to stay above. And as long as that is the case, the trend will remain bullish. Now the confirmation for buyers could be break above the trend line because the break above the trend line will confirm break above both moving averages. So this is extremely important resistance corresponding to the previous support. Definitely must be watched for the breakout. Only then big buyers are likely to step in. For now, this is the consolidation phase or a downtrend in the short term. There is no clear or definitive confirmation that it will reverse at any moment to the upside. For now, it's clearly a bearish trend on the lower time frames, such as four hour, one hour. But on the large time frame, definitely it is an uptrend. One of the scenarios, of course, is attempt to break below this low where the price will test the moving average, maybe spike, and then we will start rising. All in all, very important to watch the trend line along with this resistance area, 
which is at 147. Now, what will happen if there will be break to the upside, daily break and close? Then we might be expecting the move towards the psychological level, which would be also reasonable. So 200 level could be tested. This is the strong psychological area. And just to summarize, these are the scenarios that can be expected. And as can be seen, the key support is near $100. As long as price is above, this will remain a long-term bullish trend. Now to confirm an uptrend, traders could be waiting for the $147 resistance to be broken and then opportunity might be arising for buyers. Up until then, there is a consolidation phase might be extended further. So while we finished with the Monero, let's go to previously made analysis and some other charts. Starting off with the Bitcoin dominance, which were analyzed once the price was roughly at 70% Bitcoin domination. Right now, price has corrected down towards 78.6% at 63% domination. We are rejecting now the uptrend trend line, which is the bottom of the channel, which might increase some pressure on the altcoins because there might be this corrective move up and then continuation. But as you can see, our prediction was that the price will move down towards this support area, exactly what has happened. Very important to see what will be near this area, because if it will get rejected, then the correction is possible where altcoins could be struggling. In regards to the Bitcoin, price has reached the key support area between $28,000 and $30,000. All in all, the trend is bullish. Nonetheless, the consolidation is ongoing, can be extended further. We need to see some clear break either above the downtrend trend line or the previously made high at $42,000. See, let's look at the volatility index for the Bitcoin. And this is a four hour time frame. We have a simple uptrend trend line and we have the volatility at the very low. Perhaps now it will yet again start to increase. Also a possible scenario. And if that's the case, could be starting moving to the upside. But if support broken, of course, it could be further down, which doesn't seem likely at this point in time. Now, chain link against the Bitcoin, one of our analysis made previously, we broke above the resistance that we did expect to be tested. So this is a very bullish case for the link against the Bitcoin and the tendency is clearly bullish. No signs of reversal, although we might be retesting the support before trend continues. But all in all, high highs and higher lows are in place. If we look at the Elliott wave theory, maybe this could have been one two, three, four, and five. Maybe this could be the end of the trend. So a little bit cautious, but considering that the price broke the previous resistance, it still remain bullish. The Bitcoin cash against the Bitcoin still within the range, no clear direction, but we had the break above the simple downtrend trend line, which could be the starting point of yet another move to the upside to retest this resistance area. And once again, back to the dot BTC, which is a polka dot, price could be completing the wave five. And perhaps this is the final wave to the upside before we see some sort of NABC correction, which could start even from the, this point onwards. Now the Tron against the Bitcoin and the previously made high is at 99 Satoshi's strong psychological resistance, which is likely also to be tested prior to the either correction or a move to the upside, the beginning. So we definitely need to break above this resistance only then that there can be this trend. But certainly price action on the four hour time frame is getting more bullish because we are continuing to reject the 50 simple moving average. This is a very bullish case. Higher highs and higher lows are in place. Yet again, it could be the confirmation of an uptrend. But very important to watch the 200 simple moving average for the rejection because here we have this resistance resistance area. Only break above this area could be the continuation of an uptrend. For now, it does seem like the price is starting to reverse. All right, that's all for today, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget to take it easy and smooth and see you next time.